Hello again, I'm Eric Brinsvold and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Kyle who asks, what do I need to know before Google I.O.? Thanks for the question. We're all excited for Google's annual developer conference this week and there are plenty of things to be prepared for. For starters, check out the list of sessions. Since the schedule was released a few weeks ago, the industry has been trying to get a feel for what Google will announce at the keynote on Thursday morning. After Google announced their material design language last year, lots of work has gone into learning and understanding the principles they defined, and it looks like they are doubling down this year with sessions like Material Design Year One, Adaptive UI and Material Design, and Bringing Material Design to Life on Android, to just name a few. Expect new tools from Google to make it easier for developers to implement great material design apps across earlier versions of Android as well as the web. Also, sometimes the session descriptions aren't very helpful. Google still wants to keep some things a surprise, so look out for sessions with vague descriptions. These will be the ones that change after the keynote to go more in depth on programs that Google announces in the keynote. One especially interesting topic is from ATAP, Google's Advanced Technology and Products Group that has been responsible for Google's experimental programs recently, like Project Ara and Project Tango. The description mentions wearables that we hope will blow your socks off, literally. So I'm especially looking forward to what they have in store for us. Of course, we don't expect Google I.O. to conclude without Google announcing a new version of Android, Android M. Like last year, we expect that they'll announce the version and release a preview SDK for developers before releasing the full version later in the year. And since Lollipop was such a huge release last year, we expect Android M to be a smaller release, more along the lines of the KitKat. According to rumors, Android M will contain a reworking of the way Android handles permissions, allowing users to deny specific permission requests so they can more tightly control how an app can interact with their system. Another feature that may be included is native fingerprint authentication. So if a device manufacturer includes fingerprint scanner hardware, then developers will have a native way to access that in their own apps, which should then lead to more phones including fingerprint authentication in the future. Most of the sessions will be live streamed and available online after the conference, but there's still some content exclusive to attendees. For example, there's Speechless at I.O. A favor from last year, Speechless is a sort of slideshow karaoke where Google presenters, including Chet Haas and Rita Meyer, have to give presentations with slides that they've never seen before. Should be a lot of fun. Well, that's it for this episode. We'll be back soon to talk about what Google announced and what we're most excited about for the rest of the year. As always, tweet your questions to us with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.